So there is a book about mental health, then. It would be a Choice Theory? Choice Theory is very definitely. I wrote a book that's even more specific to mental health because I want to address the problem. Mm -hmm. And I called this book Warning. Psychiatry can be hazardous to your mental health because when a psychiatrist mm -hmm. diagnoses you with a disease you don't have, treats you with a drug you don't need that can harm you, and mm -hmm. tells you you can do nothing for yourself, psychiatry is and, very harmful to your mental health. And it lasts forever. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get a diagnosis, and I tell right. people this, yeah, I right. say, for goodness sake, if you can possibly afford it, don't go to anyone who gives you a DSM-4 diagnosis. Because right. once that diagnosis is on record, right. it's not private. Right. It's yeah. no longer confidential. And they can use that diagnosis to harm you later in life and say, well, right. you know, you were schizophrenic one time right. of your life, as John Nash, right. Forbes right. Nash, was that called yeah. schizophrenic, right. the man from the beautiful mind. John Nash is not schizophrenic anymore. There was nothing wrong with his brain. Mm -hmm. When he finally decided he was a very unhappy person, he got along mm -hmm. poorly with people. But when he desperately wanted an important prize, he missed the field prize, right. which is the major prize for mathematics, and was very unhappy. He went crazy, so-called, right. became psychotic, had hallucination delusions after that, was treated horribly, was given insulin shock treatments, fortunately that didn't kill him. But he was smart enough not to take the drugs. So after he went crazy in 1959, yeah. in 1970, she, Sylvia Nasser in her book, he never took another psychiatric drug. Because mm. the psychiatric drugs for people who are crazy can actually harm the brain, mm -hmm. harm the frontal lobe of the brain. The part of your brain that makes you a human being enjoys yeah, people, feelings creative and, yeah. feelings, all the parts that mm -hmm. really make you enjoy life. So when you're on some of these drugs, I won't mention their names, right. but there are drugs like this, and these drugs harm your frontal lobe. And if you take these drugs, which almost every person right. diagnosed schizophrenia in the United States is on these drugs, the chances right. of them recovering are very, very slim. Now, if they take no drugs, they've proven this, around 67% of people who are just given psychological support and maybe protected mm -hmm. a little bit, will recover from the schizophrenia. And there's even psychiatrists around now. There's yeah. psychiatrists around now mm -hmm. that were diagnosed schizophrenia and explain how they've recovered. And uh, there's a man named, uh, I can't forget, remember mm -hmm. his name now. But anyway, whatever it is, mm -hmm. he is, he was put in a mental hospital when he was a psychiatric, when he was a psychological uh, fellow right. in, in a major clinic because he disagreed with the treatment. He disagreed with the idea these people right they were treating were mentally ill so they dealt with him by locking him up in a mental hospital where he spent a number of months before he literally escaped from the hospital and now he has got a, what he calls the resilient center he believes people are resilient resilient people yeah. are mentally healthy there's a lot of people who will be watching this videotape who've suffered all kinds of difficult problems in their life but they're resilient mm -hmm. they've learned how to deal with life in a way that they remain mentally healthy and they remain closer to the people sure. in their life that they need. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, so, so what we, we need to do is teach people, and we can do it individually mm -hmm. in counseling. Okay. Counselors don't diagnose people if they don't have to. Many mm -hmm. of them they, only diagnose them because it's the only way they can get paid mm -hmm. or something like that, oh. or they work for an organization that gets money from diagnoses. But I look to counselors who are my close colleagues because mm -hmm. I've always counseled. I look to counselors as people who can kind of understand that they're in the mental health profession and they can teach people individually or in small groups to become healthier than they are because mm -hmm. there's a continuum where you can be less than mentally healthy, have symptoms, and then improve your own mental health. And you do that through putting choice theory Mm -hmm. And other theories I say too, but mm -hmm. any theory that can teach you how to be mentally healthy and choice theory is one of those theories. So I'd like to take a few moments and describe choice theory. Yeah, okay. But you know, just to make sure that I'm following mm -hmm. this, it, it sounds so dangerous that people are being labeled with an illness that they don't really have that mm -hmm. really, because we buy into this and believe this, impacts the whole, their whole lives. That's why I called my book. Warning, yeah. psychiatry can be hazardous to your mental health. And mm -hmm. as you say, 
giving them a diagnosis right. and if you can't ever get the diagnosis removed from your file which you can't you right. maybe if you spent a lot of dollars mm -hmm. could but you could never get it removed so no one could find it again they'd have the record okay. don't get a record I have a friend of mine who mm -hmm. counsels and says to right. people when I insurance pay for this he says it will it'll pay for it to some extent but now you're going to be on record, so be careful. Right. That record could do you more harm than any help I can give you now.